asking you what is NDO and uh, why it is so important. Okay? No successful distributors in the world okay, didn't do the training of NDO. This is one of what we say, let's call one of the requirement or a thing that you need to know once you do this kind of business. It is an orientation. You know, if you have a new job, people uh, that uh, got employed, if you are hired, your boss will not put you in the front right away, okay? There'll be an orientation period. They will tell you what to do, right? Now remember, some orientations takes about, about a week or even, uh, even a month or months before the thing that they'll be left alone. And just imagine, Okay. If you are working, you will have this orientation and then for you to work and for you to earn. And this one will be earning a lot. Okay. So that's why orientation is very important. Now, why is uh, the NDO very important? The reason behind that is that whether you like to live in a world of positive, the negativity will never be absent. It's always been there. Okay. You cannot get away with it. You cannot hide from it. You cannot, you know, you, you, can, you cannot wake up in the morning and uh, don't think about it too. That's why the NDO will help you okay, how to be ready when negativity comes to you during the time that you're doing the business. It starts like, somewhat like it's, uh, mm, let me see, uh, you go to a, and, from there, you will have a vaccine, okay? You'll be vaccinated to fight against things that's not good for your body. That's what NDO is all about. We're gonna give you some vaccination. We're gonna prepare you. We're gonna prepare you from, from all the negativity that you will encounter in this world, okay? As you do the business. That's why NDO is so important in life. I would like you to learn that. I would like you to know that first. I would like you to have an open mind, okay? So as we go along with it, it will be easier for you to understand what is waiting ahead of you. Now let's see, okay? I'd like to start with the story of Charles Plum, okay? Do you know Charles Plum? Don't worry. If you don't know him, it's okay. He doesn't know you too. Anyway, okay? Charles Plum was a fighter, jet fighter pilot during the war in Vietnam. He had 75 successful missions. Imagine that, 75 successful missions. On the 76th, <clears throat> his plane was shot down. Okay? And because he had trouble with a plane, so he had to jump okay, and land on his parachute. And he was captured. Once he was captured, he passed an ordeal for six years, long years, under the Vietnamese commun communist uh, camp. Imagine that six long years inside a camp, six long years. What am I telling is that during, do you think during the six long years, he got good food or good bed? Nah, I don't think so. You know, the, he was tortured to get information from him, especially he's a, he, he flew 75 missions and all of those stuff, okay? He never complained. So don't complain to me what's happening right now, okay? <laughs> So after six years, he was rescued. And after his tour of duty, he started to talk to the colleges, to the community, all right, to big companies, sharing his ordeal. He became a motivational speaker. One night during uh, dinner in a restaurant, a person about three to five tables away from him keep on staring at him. And the guy says, I know this guy. I know this, I know this guy. And the guy says, was telling to her, you know that guy? I, I know that guy. I know that guy. Did that happen to you in a restaurant? And you look at somebody and say, oh, I know this guy. Okay. And when like, somebody smiled, uh, look, look at you too. And then you smile and he smiled. But my point is, did you stand up and shake your hand? Probably yes or probably no. Okay. It doesn't matter. But this guy, this gentleman who so Charles Plum stood up, he stood up. And he went there, introduced himself, and he asked, sir, are you Captain Charles Plum? He said, yes. Were you the pilot 
of the USS Kitty Hawk? Yes. Sir, your plane was shut down. And Charles Plum looked at him and, you know, wondering, and he asked, yes, it was shut down. Sir, did the parachute, did the parachute work? And, and Charles Plum looked at him, at the back of his mind, definitely. He said, yes, it did. Why? And he said, sir, I was the sailor who packed your parachute that night. Whoa, imagine that. That guy seated five tables away was the sailor who packed his parachute that night before his plane was shut down the next morning. Just imagine, what, 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 what are you going to do if you're Charles Plum? Definitely. Charles Plum, just like what you're going to do, stood up and gave the, the gentleman a big hug and said thank you. And during the time where Charles Plum was about to go to sleep, okay, in his bed, he was thinking, you know, it was not only the physical parachute that helped me to survive. It was not only the physical parachute that helped me to become successful in life. So if we want to become successful in life, there's some parachutes <clears throat> that we need to tackle. And one of those parachutes is what you call the emotional parachute. Another parachute is a mental parachute, the spiritual parachute, the financial parachute, and the technical parachutes. These are the five parachutes in life that we're going to tackle tonight or this afternoon. I would I'd like you to be aware of this because at the end, we're going to see a which parachute, okay? You think that you need to make some adjustment in your life. Now, when you were invited in this business, I'm sure that the one who invited you was so excited, share to your business, okay? And, and everything in your mind, man, I like this, I like this, I like this, I like this. And suddenly one question pop out from your mind and it says, okay, how, how did you do the business? That's always a common question, okay? You always have in your mind, how did you do the business? How was he able to invite people? How was he able to always the word how and how and how and how, okay? How is a good word, okay? I guarantee you that. I'd just like to introduce to you a deeper word. And that is the word why. Why are you going to do the business? It's not about the person who invited you. It's about you. I would like you to lean back a little and ask yourself, why am I going to do this business? Why am I here in this business? Find the reason why. And um, with this situation that we have right now, this is already a big reason for you to do this business. I want you to look at it. Remember, if you were on my training on the goal setting, one of the slides there says, people do not fail to plan, okay? but they plan to fail. People do not plan to fail, but they fail to plan. Imagine that, okay? So I want you to think deeply today, okay? Your reason why, and look around. If you have kids, that will be another reason spouse life that you have right now okay i want you to have that reason a very deep reason why you're going to do this business the reason behind that because that will be your motivational factor in life for you to become successful successful that you're going to achieve whatever you would like to have in life you're going to achieve your dreams you know in achieving your dreams ladies and gentlemen okay I want you to categorize what kind of, let's talk about income you have right now. Can you call it, a, because there are two kinds of money in this world, the good and the very good. The good money, you pay your needs. The very good money, you get your dreams. Okay, so let's see where you are right now. And you're the only person who can really answer honestly if you have a good or very good money. Let's talk about dreams. When we talk about dreams, it's, it's dream is free. Then why hold back to your dreams? Tonight, I'm going to shift your paradigm and open up to you how to dream. I want you to dream big. Dream of a house that your family will enjoy. A house like, like this one. 
Ehe, Nawaho. Huh? <laughs> Imagine that house. Oh my gosh. Okay. See that? If you're newlywed, you're not able to see it's other. Okay. You keep on hiding. Oh, this is going to be fun. That's how you dream. That's how you dream. And if you want to be mobile, okay, for more mobility, get your cars, okay? And get a car that's just really your dream car, okay? And somewhere like this. Uh-huh. Small but terrible, right? That's how you dream. That's how you dream, okay? Dreams are free. Remember that. Keep on dreaming. Keep on dreaming, okay? And I would like you to dream of a good vacation with your family. Right now is the right time for you to plan where you're going to go after this stuff. Okay? A vacation with your family. You know, when you go to a restaurant with your kids, and you open the menu, which side are you looking? On the left or on the right? You don't even look on the left, you look on the right and find which is the cheapest there, okay? Let's cut that thing, okay? Let's cut that, we're gonna ship your paradigm today. And what I like most is the time to be with your family, okay? This is a good time to be with your family. So right now you're all in, in what you called in your beautiful houses right now, staying with your family, you know, give time to each other, meaning to say, Get away with those gadgets, okay? Play, play a board game with your kids. Play some Scrabble, some chess, okay? Some card game, okay? Um, I mean, this is the right time, okay? Because right now, they cannot tell you that they are busy or they have an assignment. No, this is it. And you yourself too. Keep yourself busy with them. Take this opportunity. You might be, you might be shocked because you, when, once your kid starts to talk, what happens is that you, you will just imagine, whoa, this is my son, this is my daughter, okay? You're gonna discover a lot of things in life, okay? You're gonna discover a lot of things in life, okay? We here in the office, or sorry, we here in the, our accommodation, we discovered a lot of things too with each other. Imagine somebody brought us some food today for free. Imagine that, we discover things like that, okay? It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be fun, okay? Start to dream, ladies and gentlemen. Let's talk about a lot of people's desire when they go to school, and that is about employment. I'm not against employment. Once upon a time, I was employed too. I was employed. And uh, it was so funny, I never got promoted. Okay? I worked for eight years with the Laboratory Corporation of America, I never got promoted. The reason behind that, okay, my supervisor stayed alive. No, just kidding, okay? All right, anyway, about employment, how do, how do that thing came into our mind, okay? Actually, that came into our mind subconsciously. It was planted to us, given to us, said to us, and we accept it. Our parents told us to go to school, have good grades, and then find a job, okay? Am I right? Did your parents told you go to school, have grades, and go to business? I don't know. Okay, probably some, but on a percentage wise, not that much, about 5% or even lower than that. It's always go to school, have good grades and find a job. Now, once we get employed, what happened is that when you get your salary, okay, are you really happy? Have you lined up in an ATM machine to get your salary? And my question is, a lot of people line up with, the, with you too. Are some people dancing because they're gonna receive their salary? Is that, yes, salary time, I don't think so, okay? Common question asked, okay? If you are employed, can we really save enough to achieve our dreams, okay? Or just enough for our needs? I want you to think of that. Are you having a good money or a very good money with regards to your salary? These are the things right now that you have to accept in reality, okay? With all these things that is happening right now, imagine 
if you are used to good money and then suddenly something like this happened, you know, it's a big question. What if you have very good money? Okay. And if everything will just be smooth sailing. Things like this needs preparation in, and that's why right now, okay, you have to have to be in the, be the right vehicle to move from good to very good. And I'm glad that you are with N World today, or in the right vehicle. Yeah. Let's talk about traditional business. Whether you like it or not, if you're gonna retire, you're going to start your own traditional business because you cannot depend uh, depend on your social security or whatever the government's doll out would be because it won't be enough. Yeah, it won't be enough. You need a lot of money if you like, you know, to have a good life after your job. And because you don't have it, what happened? You go to traditional business. Remember, when you open a traditional business right now, it's going to be hard. If you open many, many years ago, just like some of your friends, rather, or some like some of your grandparents, they opened businesses many, many years ago. That was a okay. What I do, what they mean by that. The point is that it is a okay because during that time it was the small fish against the small fish. But right now the big fish came. I just imagine this in the big aquarium. You put a big fish there. What will the big fish do to the small fish? Eat them. They're gonna eat them. That's why when a mall come up. Okay, when big malls will be constructed, a lot of people are happy. A lot of people are not happy too, because they know that their business will be gone. Everybody will be going to the mall. Okay, now look, and to start that, what happened right now, is not only big fish against the small fish. The, the one fighting right now are the big fish against the big fish. So where will you put yourself? And to start a traditional business, it's no joke. You have to have big capital, okay? To be running in the race or now or not you're gonna just flop down then you have to have experience okay and then you have there's a lot of risk competition will always be there okay everywhere you have competition big or small businesses you have competition okay then human factor okay? some business owners they go to to uh, to their business get to their office to watch on their employees, not even to watch on the customer. They're watching their employees, what their employees are doing, because they might be giving salary for people that doing anything. Human factor, okay? These are the things right now that you have to consider if you start with a traditional business. What is the future of the business? Number one, okay, franchising, okay? Franchising. This is where everybody's going to. Everybody's going to franchising, ladies and gentlemen, okay? But remember, if you're going to start a franchisee, you're going to have another one. What's your first question again? Okay, money, big capital, because it's no joke. You're going to pay something that you do is nothing. It's not even you can tangible. Meaning to say what? What does what you call the franchising fee? You have to pay them franchising fee for you to be in that kind of business. And this franchising fee is different from the other fees that you're going to pay. And this franchise fee will never be tangible for you. It's just a, you have just it's a pay that you have to give to them, and then that that doesn't count. And you have to pay another kind of money for you to start, for you to start, and they will help you out. And a lot of franchising right now, ladies and gentlemen, really is is so pricey. Okay, there uh, I don't know how much you have to pay for that, but I know I know there's there's really big big money involved. Okay, that's what you call number one franchising. And what's number two? Remember, we're talking the future. Okay? The future is network marketing. Network marketing. Business people right now are talking about network marketing as the future of the business. Okay, the future. We are doing the future now. Meaning to say, once the future comes, and then what happened? Because you've been doing it now, then you'll be a-okay. Don't you know right now that network marketing supports in some of the schools? in the US and even and even in the Philippines. Okay? I was asked by one of the schools at Ateneo de Davao University to be a speaker about network marketing. They are learning that in school. People are teaching that while you are doing it. Okay? You are doing it. The funny thing is that they are paying the school. While here, once you do it, you will be paid. So I want 
you to look at it in that way. Just like what Robert Kiyosaki said, the richest people in the world look for and build networks. Everyone else looks for a job. See that? What kind of people? The richest people. Where can you find the richest people? Look in the mirror. In front of you is a rich guy right now, a rich lady right now. Those are the rich people. Okay? They believe in network marketing. So imagine you are in your hand right now. You have N world in your hand right now. Okay? You have this business right now. You have this network marketing in your hand right now. Don't let it go. Remember, <clears throat> once you let it go, <clears throat> your why in life will never be answered. Okay? Let me show you some data regarding this matter. Okay? Uh, total global sales. We're talking about global. Okay? 2012, the NFL, that's a national football league, made 9.5 billion. Music industry, 16.5 billion. Video gaming, 67. Movie, 80. Organic product, $91 billion. Look at network marketing. It's the only one in the three figure billion, okay? $167 billion. And network marketing companies share a large, a large, not ordinary, but a large percentage of their sales with their distributors to the tune of over 65 billion in 2012. How much did the other company share with you? Ask yourself, ask yourself about it, okay? This is the future of the business. That's 2012, okay? $167 billion. Let's go to 2013. If you notice, in 2013, the NFL is still the same. Video gaming, just look at those, okay? And look at network marketing. It's $178 million, $178 million. 2013, let's look at 2014. 2014, $182 billion. Uh, look at Africa right now and Middle East. They made $1 billion. If this is gonna raise up to $5 billion, Man, those four billion are in your pockets, ladies and gentlemen. We're not talking about Naira, we're talking about dollars. Asia Pacific, $81 billion. If this raise up to $100 billion, well, it's it because you are doing something great. This is the future, unstoppable. My point is, would you like to be a part of it? Or would you like to just sit back and look at it? Two choices. People will be clapping for you or you will be clapping for some people. Make a choice, ladies and gentlemen. That's 2014. Look at 2015, $183.7 billion. The Rex Darling Company share a large percentage of their sales with their distributors to the tune of over, it's not just normal thing, over $73 billion in 2015. And that's approximately 200 million US dollars in commissions per day. Okay. Be a part of it? Very good. If you'll not join, somebody will. Okay? And when that thing happens, what you gonna do? Okay? You're gonna snap your fingers again and say, oh my gosh, what a waste. Oh my gosh, I was there. You know, when you snap your fingers, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Big loss really has occurred in your life. Shift the paradigm now, okay? Don't talk about being mediocre, okay? From good to very good, okay? Why network marketing? Number one, you're your own boss, okay? You're your own boss. When you sign up here, you're your own boss right away, okay? Once you're a boss, then you decide how much money would you like to have, okay? You decide how much money would you like to have. You're your own boss, okay? I will give you a blank check. Put that amount there and work hard for that. Okay, work hard for that. Okay. It's so funny. Okay. If you sell an item, if this is your phone and you're gonna sell it, you're gonna dictate the price because you're the one selling it. Are you with me? Okay. You understand? Good. All right. Now, once you apply for a job. Remember, you are selling, you are putting an amount. Once you apply your, for a job, you are selling yourself too. 
you're selling yourself. And once they hire you, who dictates your salary? Not you, okay? The company dictates your salary. How come you're the one selling yourself? While this one, you're selling this, you dictate the price. Something's wrong. Here, we take that away from you. Some people tell me, how can I become successful in this business to answer my why if I am employed? Good. Your employment, you are just there for eight hours. After eight hours, change your mentality. Most problem that we have is your mindset. Your mindset is your most uh, enemy when you do this business. The reason behind that is that because after office hours, you still think that you're an employee. No, you are not an employee anymore. You are now a business person. So being an employee for eight hours, that is okay. After eight hours, you have to switch off and switch on your business. You're a business person now. You're a businessman right now. Imagine that. Okay? Don't you see how blessed you are? Because a lot of people are looking for to start their own business. You have your business now. You have end world now. So from employment, you're able to cross from employment to become a businessman. And the business person, you are unstoppable, okay? Because the reason behind that is that once you do this business, you can do a lot of things. Because the reason behind that, because you can do the law of leverage. The law of leverage is very important in life, ladies and gentlemen, okay? People that become very rich, okay? They have lots of entities with them, okay? The owner of uh, ShopRite has a lot of ShopRite. Not only one. Oh, no, no, not only one. Because only one kind of income, he will have only one income. But many ShopRite, many income. Many SM in the Philippines, many income. If you are now in N World and you did help a lot of business, people to become your business partner, many business partner, many income. What happened now? The thing that will happen now is that from good, you're going to go now to the very good income. Law of leverage, 18 years old and above, ladies and gentlemen, okay? And alive, okay? And alive, don't forget that, okay? You can bring them to the business. You can bring them to the business, okay? Imagine that, that's a law of leverage. And the point is that once you do the law of leverage now, okay? That is the secret to success. You were able to multiply your time through others. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, there's a law of leverage. Inheritance. You are working. If you are employed, not, I'm not against employment, okay? You are working for your family, right? Good. Do they have an inheritance there? Uh, if you are employed, don't get me wrong. If you are employed, you're making somebody very rich. Let me repeat that. If you're employed, you're making somebody very rich. Now, that person has to become very rich. The reason behind that, so you can be able to be paid with your salary. It's a good thing, okay? The only not good thing is that that person did not hire you to become rich. Question, is it answering your why, your deepest why, where you are working right now? Think about that, okay? Here, you have inheritance. I know you're with kids, your kids right now, or with your wife or husband right now. Look at them. Because whatever you do is going to them. Okay? Whatever you do right now, whatever you sow, you will reap and they will reap. Whatever you plant, they will harvest and you will harvest too. Okay? That's what you call inheritance. Where can you find a business like that? Okay? Where can you business, find a business like that? That's why... Here you are right now. You are in a good standing right now with N world. Then be serious about it. Be serious about this. Look at it. Look at it and see if this answers your why. And what then that thing answers your why, then why not go for it? Why not go for it? You're looking for an answer and you got the answer. Then work for it. Okay? Work for it. Remember the five parishes that we have? Uh, the first one was emotional parachute, mental parachute, okay, spiritual parachute, financial parachute, and the technical parachute. Let's talk about the first parachute, okay? That's the emotional parachute. And fear is one of those emotional parachutes, 
No? Now remember, fear is not of the Lord. It is of a devil. Fear is the only thing that can stop you in getting your dreams. Okay? Remember that. This will stop you. Okay? That's why a lot of people, once fear is in their system now, they start to crumble. That's why you have to learn how to fight fear. Okay? How to fight fear. And, and uh, fear <laughs> was injected to us by a lot of people that we love. Okay? You know, it's some, sometimes parents inject fears in their children. Okay, that's why what happened. Okay, the children right now that they have doesn't have the self confidence. And what is fear? Fear is a false expectations appearing real. False expectations appearing real. It is a real thing. Okay, we can go away with fear, ladies and gentlemen. There's always there's always something to go away with fear. We are now in a situation of the COVID nineteen. If you have fear into this one, stay home, okay? And you will be safe. Fight it out. There's a lot of things, just like the fears that we have in achieving our dreams and goals in life. Two kinds of fear that I would like to discuss today, okay? And number one is that the fear of rejection, okay? Who amongst you have been rejected already while doing this business? Hey, hey now, wahoo. If you are not rejected, wow, man. I'm going to be afraid of you. I mean to say you are, you're doing something very good. You have to teach me, okay? Rejection is a common thing once you do this business, okay? Now, I'll tell you a secret. Would you like to know a secret of how not to be rejected? Good. Don't invite. <laughs> don't invite, okay? If you don't invite, you'll never be rejected, right? Okay, good. So what happened now? What happened to your wife? We'll still be there. Okay? There's a lot of rejections already that we have encountered. What happened? You're still alive because you keep fighting it. Okay, you keep fighting it. Rejections, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, look, when you are invited to be a business partner in N World, how many buddies did you have? You only have one buddy, right? <clears throat> Good. Two ears, two eyes, one nose. Good. When you invite your friend and your friend did not join, did you lost your ear? Okay, or one eye went away? No, you're still complete. Okay, you're still complete. No, nothing is lost. Nothing is lost. Actually, they lost the opportunity for their lives to be changed. It's their loss. Okay, so once you get rejected, just look at them and say, okay, you just didn't understand about it, but I'll be back. I'll help you again. Have the attitude of helping people. That's why rejection is a common thing in life. But as you keep on doing it, you keep on doing it, keep on doing it, you become good at it. Look at the boxers, okay? All right. Do you think once they get hit in the face the first time, does it really hurt? Definitely. Definitely. It hurts. 12 rounds of boxing, their face keeps on hitting. What happened? Okay? Nothing. All right. What happened now? They get used to it and they win and they become champions. Just like in this business, if you get rejected, just get, let it come, let it come, okay? Let it come, get used to it. Because you know that once you get rejected, you become good at it. You become very good at it. That later on in life, okay? It just becomes somewhat like a cup of coffee for you. Let's talk about failure, okay? People tell me, tell me that, uh, say, Sir Barty, failure is the opposite of success. No, 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 it's not the opposite. Failure, ladies and gentlemen, goes with success. Without failure, you can never become successful in life. People that become successful in life, were, what kind of failures they have, I guarantee you, some were even humiliated in front of a lot of people. But did they stop? No, they didn't stop. Because they didn't stop, what happened? Boom, they become successful in life. During my, yes, during my last Saturday's training, it's about goal setting. It's about goal setting. The last part there, if you do not stop, if you do not quit, you become successful in life. So failure is the thing that you have to come across with and connote that and put that together with success. You cannot let the fear of failure and rejection stop you from doing what's going to make you great. 
Let me repeat that. You cannot let a fear of failure and rejection stop you from doing what's going to make you great. You cannot succeed without taking the risk of failure. You must go out to take that risk. Okay? Do what's comfortable with you. To be scared, okay? You know it's hard, but pays off in the long run. Be willing to fail. Let yourself fail for in the way and place you want to fail. Fail and then pick yourself up. Fail, then pick yourself up. What am I telling you, okay? If you have children, they didn't right away walk. Am I right? They, they, they fell down. What did you tell them? Stand up, okay? You can do it, stand up, okay? Pick yourself up, just like you and me. Once failure is there, pick yourself up, okay? Pick yourself up, okay? Pick yourself up. Tell the, the neighbor that you have right now seated with you, okay? Several videos, pick yourself up, okay? And tell to yourself, I will pick myself up. Okay, remember that, ladies and gentlemen. Because without the struggle, what is your success anyway? Okay? Every success, there's a story of struggle behind that. And that's why your success is sweet, very sweet, because of the struggle that you have. Okay? People will start to respect you because they see a champion in you. Okay? So, this picture, this is the first time you've seen it. Okay? Try to guess what it is. Okay. All right. Don't look at it as a pizza pie, okay? All right. All right, that's a light bulb. And who invented the light? First that invented the light bulb is Thomas Edison. Okay. How many times did he fail? Do you have any idea? Some people says 99 times, some people says 100 times. The one book that I read says 1,000 times. I really don't care. What I care most is he didn't stop. He didn't stop. Okay, he didn't stop. See that? Once the thing happens that when they were working for, on it and then it didn't work, the assistant used to say, Mr. Edison, it didn't work. He said, no, 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 no. And he said that the assistant would say, no, we failed. No, we never failed. We just know what we did that it will not work. Let's find another way that we're going to do to make it work. Okay? Thomas Edison had good friends. And by the way, he did not only invent the bulb, he invented a lot of things too. He even invented the cement, okay? He invented the lithium battery. Remember lithium battery? Lithium battery for us is someone like, oh, it's a new thing. No, it's been there, okay? During the World War, okay, one of his friends, he got two friends, close friends. Thomas Edison has two friends. That's Henry Ford and Dwight Eisenhower. Dwight Eisenhower came to Thomas. He said, Thomas, can you help us out? Uh, why? Um, Thomas, our submarine, Okay, cannot stay underwater for quite some time because our battery is weak. That's why the Germans is having fun with us right now and hitting us left and right. And Thomas Edison <clears throat> invented the lithium battery. And what happened? The USA won against the Germany. Okay. Number two, one of his friends, everybody said, remember that? That's Henry Ford. Henry Ford came to Thomas Edison and said, hey, Thomas, I have problems with my T model. The, the first Ford car is T model, name is T model. He said, what's your problem? The tire, okay, the tire, it's, it's, it's destroys right away. The, the rubber is not good, can you help me out? Now, Thomas Edison lives in Florida and there's no rubber tree in Florida. And he walk around in Florida, there's a lot of swamp. In the swamp, he saw this thing that the, the green things, okay, that are growing there, the weeds and everything. He took it and then study it and start to weave it and it became better than the rubber, okay? Thomas Edison said, stick with people who are dreamers, stick with people who are positive, stick with people that all things think they think are possible. Okay? If you have friends who are negative, he said, change them. Because just like the saying says, tell me who, who your friends are and I'll tell you who you are. Change them, you can change them. If they'll get mad at you, well, do you think sticking with your friends right now will answer your why? Because if your friends right now sticking with them will answer your why, stick with them. But if not, pull yourself away. Remember, you have responsibility to your family. You have responsibility to your why. You have responsibility to your life. If your friends 
are not into that, then you'll be just like them. So if your friends negative, change them. Okay? Your brothers say, Your wife negative, don't change her, okay? No, no, pray that they will change. Your spouse, your husband negative, just pray, and I'm sure they will change, okay? Because remember, this is your why. You're fighting for it. Why will you let an anchor, all right, be there pulling you down? You have to get away from that, okay? What, who is this? Okay, this is Colonel Sanders. Kentucky Fried Chicken, okay? We had that for lunch today. Oh, it was great, okay? Kentucky Fried Chicken, okay? Was he successful right away? No. Did he came out of failures? Definitely. One failure, no. Two failures, no. 20, no. He got 99 failures become, before becoming a billionaire, okay? When he retired, his social security check was nine six hundred dollars. How can you live with six hundred dollars? Okay, he got a lot of bills to pay. So what happened? He knocked at the door of his friend. He said, "Hey Tom, every time you come to the house, you like the way I cook my chicken because Tom owns a big restaurant." He says, "Tom says, yeah, man, your chicken's really fantastic." Oh, and then and, and uh, Colonel Sanders says, "Look, Tom, Use this one, okay? Sorry about that, okay? Sorry. So he gave back the recipe. Colonel Sanders knocked on 99 restaurants all over of the USA, and everybody says no. On the, on the 100, somebody says yes, and he became a billionaire. So, how many failures do we have right now? How many rejections do we have right now? Is it 99 already? Uh, hey, now, wahoo. That's why you have to think about this, okay? Michael Jordan, very good basketball player? Definitely. A champion? Yes. Was he a champion before? No. Did he pass failure? Yes. During his college days, his school days, he never, the first time he tried out, they didn't pick him. He worked hard for it. The whole summer, the whole winter, spring, every day he played basketball and became good at it. Okay? Now he became a good basketball player. Not only good, the best a basketball player in the whole world right now good singer elvis presley yep first record was a hit no when he was recording it the manager of the recording studio step out okay and asked elvis to no because he has a dream he has a goal. He has his wife. And what happened? He became the king of rock and roll. These are some people right now that I will show you. And I'm showing you right now that were humiliated, that were laughed at. Nobody believed in them. But where they are right now, okay? Just like you and me right now. People might be laughing at us. People might not be believing in us. Who cares, okay? This is your life. Make a decision about it. You have your big why to answer. And now you have N world to help you with that. Okay? So please shift and change. Okay? Let's talk about discouragement. As you go along with this business, a lot of people will discourage you. Oh, it is so funny. The people that discourage you, they don't even, you know, look, look at them. I was doing the business many years ago, and one of my friends. He asked me, Barty, how long have you been doing network marketing? I said, right now, man, I'm on my, I'm on my eight month that time. I'm on my eight month right now. And, he, and mockingly, he asked me, do you have a car? Do you not have a car? I said, no. See? And then you tell people that they will have a car. Was a man. Believe on those people that will carry you. Love it. Can many years ago I met uh, Zig Ziglar. 
and he told me to become successful in life the one that will pull you right down right away will be words that you're going to listen to people the best part is that you can control them you can change them a very good example that i would like to share with you is about the alarm clock everybody would like to wake up with an alarm going off right question when that thing goes off did you stand up right away or you put them to snooze another five minutes back to bed and then beep, snooze again what happened many snooze then you are late right why how come you were not excited to jump out of bed you set the alarm crazy yeah all right the reason behind that is that the word alarm you know alarm do you think alarm is a good word alarm connotes to coup d'etat alarm connotes to atomic bomb okay alarm connotes to tidal wave alarm connotes to disaster as alarm clock i changed it i changed it to opportunity clock you this something people if you're not good result you have another activity if you have bad result negative result you still have another activity you keep on going and going and moving and moving you mean to say you do not stay on the box then you will have more results then stay on the activity oriented the activity oriented box ladies and gentlemen because once you have activities in life a lot of results will just come to you so in this business remember some will join when you invite them some will not so what remember okay you're fighting for your why okay this is your dream this is your goal this is your family not theirs okay have the attitude of next because someone else is waiting you can now do this because you now have the opportunity you now have n world with you without n world you have no choice now we give you choice it is so funny you would like to have a change in your life and the choice is in your hands right now and how come you're not serious about it okay then later on you'll blame n world or you blame network marketing not uh, not letting you achieve your goals in life nope okay don't blame us up to you right now that's why you have to learn your because that will motivate you okay you build your house with those and it's contagious so it's negative so things that you can control put them into positive okay can you control the covid 19 no you cannot control that can you control your excitement can you control your life right now your situation yes you can control that then why think of negative think of positive okay you you have you have to sweep away that negative mind of yours change paradigm okay mindset you have to change that be excited be excited okay most of you are still new in the business right i want you to be excited now because a lot of things will be coming soon okay i will coming soon when people ask you how are you doing in the business tell them man it's so awesome okay and then turn your back okay don't talk to them anymore leave them okay and they will say oh why okay he's having a good time i would like to have like that one too don't tell your people now how's your business um you know it's hard then what happened there's power in your word when you say it's hard it's gonna be hard when you're excited everything will be easy have you noticed that learn something with excitement what happened it comes so easy so light okay but learn something with fear learn something with something that 
that you it's not exciting for you to learn good okay all right let's do that okay you do that okay all right lord look at those people doing it okay all right thank you okay <laughs> let's do this one two three say ah oh, nice eh? nice one right okay all right nice one right okay now look at this okay look at this lady going to the right whoa man everybody let's do that one two three just do that ah oh, the other side yeah you like that so you have to be excited in life the reason behind that is because you have n world and everything will change for you right now you now have the opportunity to be breaking what's happening in your family right now to have a to break that wall okay and get away from poverty you have it now it is in your hands you have n world ladies and gentlemen okay now let's talk about the mental toughness okay the mental parachute remember two parachutes uh, five parachutes we have the number one which is the emotional parachute then we have the mental parachute this is the mental Okay, remember that attitude it is the library of your past, the mirror of your present, and the prophecy of your future. Attitude. Attitude, attitude, okay? People tell me, how come I'm not successful? I said, probably you have problems, okay? You have some attitude as a stumbling block for you. You are carrying something, you have to release that, you have to release that. How can you climb a mountain with five bricks on your back? You have to release that, okay? You have to release that, okay? And you yourself knows about those things. Now, if you change your attitude, don't make a 360 turn you just go back to the same just 180 change your attitude and my friend says if i'm going to change my attitude how many percent do i have to change okay on the alphabetical numerical order you will see a as number one in the alphabet right good we all agree with that right of course and t is 20 20 i is 9 20 u is 21 d is 4 and e is 5 Okay, if you add all of these numbers, ladies and gentlemen, this is the percentage that you have to change 100%. Change your attitude. Thank you. Learning attitude. You have to learn. Okay, because if you will not learn anything, okay, then what will what what new thing will come up of your life? Remember that. And in learning, listening is very important. It is only when you listen that you learn. If you keep on talking, you are just repeating yourself. That's why I have a good learning attitude. Okay, and for you to have a good learning attitude, for you to easily learn, is that I want to humble yourself. Look, if you're a lawyer and I need your help, I will come and listen to you. I don't know anything about the law. If you're a doctor, I have a problem, I will come and listen to you. I'm not a doctor. Okay? But if you like to learn about the business of network marketing, then I want you to open yourself. I want you to forget everything that you know and learn new things right now. You can only learn new things right now if you become humble. Why? It's only when you humble yourself that we can teach you and you can learn and you can teach and you can share. Okay, so humble yourself. Tell yourself, I will be humble. I will humble myself. Tell your neighbor, be humble. Their other neighbor, be humble. Because these things right now, ladies and gentlemen, you, I'm so excited about, about for you to learn, you know? Because if you keep on doing the same thing all over again and you expect a different result, that's what you call the insanity. It will never happen. How can you have, how can you have guava if you keep on planting tomatoes? You have to learn something. Okay, for you to get something.
And here, copying is the easiest way to do. Sponsors, you can. Then you will have the same result with them. Yeah, okay? important. Able to see conceptualize. Oh yeah, because there are things that you will forget right away. Okay, but by you know repetition is the mother of learning. Okay, by listening you learn. Okay, by reading you learn. And I am preparing you for a good future. Okay, I'm preparing you for a good future. What am I telling you? Look. Okay. Your network will grow. You will have a lot of business partners. What will you tell them? How will you train them? What will you share to them if you don't have the notes? Once you have a note, right? You have your notebook and everything is written there, then you can have topics right now. And you just have to copy. Okay. So easy, right? So why make things hard if you can make things easy for you? Right? So this is why I I ask you for that. Now, if you haven't recorded this one, it is okay. I'm going to pause this on my YouTube. Okay, I will share that later on, and you can keep, you can go there and learn from there. Okay, then attend training. Right now, I would like to say thank you very much for being right now. Okay, we have 45. Fingers, okay. They look for the future, not here, but they look forward to what's happening to answer the why in life. Training this is where you stable, you talk to them. The attitude is changed already. That's why training is very important in life. One person says, Ask the Lord, Lord, how come? The watermelon are in are there in the ground, okay? And the guava fruit is up there on the tree. Why is that like that? It should be the other way around. And the Lord said, okay, you want it the other way around? So the Lord put the watermelon, okay, on the tree and the guava there on the soil and the land, okay? So what happened? When the watermelon become uh, ripened up, okay, and he was passing it, one fell on his head and something happened. A good thing is just a watermelon. So everything has a purpose. And you will not know the purpose until the right time comes. What am I telling you? When the right time comes, when you are holding now the key to your new house, you're holding now the key to your new car, you're holding now the plane tickets for you and your family to have a good vacation, okay? What happened now is that that's the time you're going to appreciate what we're doing right now, okay? The future can never come without preparation of the present. Your past has nothing to do with your future. Your future has something and a lot of things to do with your future, not your past. Right now, this is a preparation stage right now. And one of these days, you will just be smiling and you will say, good thing, I attended training. If there's a training, drop everything, okay? Drop everything. Attend trainings, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, that is one of the most important thing in life. People that attend training. Okay, what happened? Self confidence build up. Okay, they start to talk. They start to walk. Okay, properly. And what happened by doing that? They become successful in life. Okay. So please, if there's a training going on, attend training. Oh, just like to let you know, on uh, that will be next Saturday. That will be next Saturday, okay? We're going to have a training, uh, how to have a sustainable network. That will be Saturday in Nigeria and Tuesday in the Philippines, okay? Are you having fun today? Definitely, right? Okay. Commitment, do whatever it takes. Commitment is one of the most important thing in life, okay? You cannot go to the gym to lose weight and you turn on the treadmill and don't step on it. Do you think you lose weight because you paid? But you will not do it yourself. Do you think you're going to lose weight? Okay, by turning on the treadmill, put into the high speed. No, you have to be on it. Okay, 
It takes a lot of sacrifice. Now, don't tell me you don't have sacrifices right now, because right now, whatever situation we are, we are ready to sacrifice for that, okay? So it's time for you for a change, that have a commitment, do whatever it takes when you do this business. Commitment is very important in anything you do, because once you're committed into this, what happened, okay? Your business partners will follow you, remember? When you lead, lead by example. Don't lead by talking, lead by example, commitment, okay? Because it's only through commitment that you will see result, ladies and gentlemen. That's why when you commit, okay, when you try this business, try it, okay? You have no, my, my friend says, I will not lose anything when doing this business. I said, why? I have already been through losing a lot and I don't like to have a continue losing in my life. Okay? That's why for a change, when you try this thing, be serious about this. Then do your very best, not just ordinary. You need a result, right? You're excited for a result. Then do your very best, okay? On my TNT training last time, champions, they did a lot of commitment. They train a lot, okay? And what happened? Boom, they become champions. Would you become champion? And do your very best. Do your very best. And the best part is that whatever it takes. What I ask from you right now is learn the business, learn marketing plan, learn the products, okay? Don't tell me you don't have time. Oh, come on, okay? don't tell me you don't have time. When you were in school, you learned a lot of things. Okay? You committed to go and have a good grace. And what happened? Are you still using the subjects that you have learned from them? Probably not all, but you made a commitment going to school, right? Here, we only ask two things from you for your why to be answered. And what are those? Learn the marketing plan and then learn the products, okay? Attend trainings. That's very important in life, okay? People that do this, changes will surely come. And I'd like to congratulate you in advance. Do whatever it takes, ladies and gentlemen, meaning to say there will be some weddings that you cannot attend. There will be some birthdays that you will not be there. There will be some activities that you won't be there because you're doing something for your future. Do not, do not do for your future when the future comes. Do it now. So when the future comes, then you are in an A-OK -okay situation. Not only you, but your family as well. And remember, this is the most important thing. Just simply do it. Tell your neighbor, do it. Tell yourself, I will do this. I will do this. Okay? Commitment. Commitment. Okay? Very important in life. Do whatever it takes, ladies and gentlemen. Then I want you to believe in our greatest upline. We now go to our spiritual parachute. Okay? Believe in God. Okay? Everything will come to pass. Okay? We are right now in a preparation for good things to happen. Imagine you have the time to learn. You have the time to memorize. You have the time to master. Okay? Imagine when you master the product when you master the ingredients out there, and when you master the marketing plan out there, you are now ready. The self-confidence is that, and the Lord has given us a lot of time to study right now, okay? So get away from those Netflix thing or from everything that your cell phone does. Go to the website and learn, okay? And learn. Remember, and surely blessing will come because he is our greatest upline, okay? Learn in a company. Where can you find a company like and world and we would like to say thank you to our president okay please include him in now in your prayers always okay even though with this thing right now he's doing a lot of things okay communicating with us okay trying to fix things trying to see how we can work out okay even though they're only skeletal force and he always comes to the office okay he exposed himself a lot that is a company a company with a heart ladies and gentlemen Okay. No comparison. A company with a heart. Okay. Then the products. Be the products of the products. Right now, use the products. Okay. Talk to your friends. Okay. When you call them, say hello to them and everything like that. You can discuss about the products. Okay. Just tell them that you found something very exciting. I would like to share it with you. Just share one product. Okay. All right. Please do that. Okay. Imagine this. Okay. A lot of things will surely change. We have an ample time, ample time to prepare. So when this, this thing will be gone, we're going to rock and roll, ladies and gentlemen.
Okay? Marketing plan. Master the marketing plan. The ins and outs of our marketing plan. Okay? Then, thank your upline. Because right now, you'll be busy. Because you have to study this thing. If not, what will you be busy of? Okay? And when the future comes, when, when all these things will be gone, then you are ready. You have to thank your upline for that. Okay? Downline also. Your business partners. Okay? One guy was walking down, was walking up in the mountain on an uh, afternoon walk, and suddenly there was a snowstorm. Okay? And he wasn't able, he cannot see anymore because of the snow dropping. Okay? And he started to freeze up. And while walking, he stumbled and he picked up himself. And then he thought it was a log. When he looked at it, it was another person, half frozen. And he said, if I'm going to leave this person, he's going to die. If I will not leave him, I might, I will be with him, I might die. And it's about two miles away where the Red Cross is. But he said, you know, as a, as a person, as a human being, he just took off his glove and started to massage the person, okay? To start the blood circulating. And the person got revived, and they walked, the two of them walked, okay, safely to the Red Cross. And then when they were inside the tent, he was so boastful and said, you know, Doc, Without me, that person is dead. And the doctor said, why? I massage him. That's why his blood circulated. And the doctor looked at him and said, you know, he saved yours too. He said, why? Because when you start massaging him, your blood circulated too. If not, you'll be frozen also. They work hand in hand, just like in this business. Okay? You can only become successful in this business when you help your business partner to become successful first. This is a helping business. This is not a dog-eat-dog dog business. You help each and every one. Bring them up. And once you bring them up, you will be up there with their too. Okay? Then brother lines, sister lines. Talk to your friends right now. Talk to other uh, N-World distributors. Okay? Be, know their name. Okay? Know where they are right now. Okay? So when this thing will be over, then you will have a lot of people okay, taking care of your back. And believe in yourself. We go now to the financial parachute. To become successful in life, you have to believe in yourself first. Because others will never believe in you. Before others will believe in you, you yourself have to believe in yourself. Believe in yourself that you're a special person. Believe in yourself that you're a champion. Believe in yourself that you will overcome everything in life right now. Because in believing, ladies and gentlemen, you now build your self-confidence. It is only when you believe that you're going to achieve. They believe in yourself. Okay? A lot of people that become successful, they were humiliated publicly, most of them, but they did not stop because they believe in themselves. Look at, look at FedEx. Okay? It's the number one right now, cargo, okay? cargo company. You know that the person believed in himself when he started it and nobody believes in him? Their first cargo that flew out okay, of the U.S. were just five packages. Three of them belong to the employees. But where they are right now, because he believed in himself first. So you have to believe in yourself, ladies and gentlemen. Believe in yourself that this thing is temporary. You are for greater good waiting for you. You are not here to be just an ordinary distributor, an ordinary business partner, but you're here to become extraordinary. Whatever is in your pocket right now is just temporary because more, triple, quadruple, 10 times will be in that wallet of yours then believe in yourself, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Make a prospect list. So we now go to your technical parachute, Pro prospect list, okay? Make a list, okay? Categorize a warm and cold list. These warm lists are the friends that you call every now and then. These are the people that you know. Cold lists are people that you knew also. Uh, the only uh, thing is that you don't, you don't really talk to them much, okay? But you know, these people, they need you also. They need you. Okay? Meaning to say, they have dreams in life also. They have dreams in life. That's why I want you to help them up. Bring them, help them. Everybody will be listening to you. As when this thing is over, people will now be thinking another thing. He said, whoa, if I will have another extra income, I could have not suffered what I have experienced. And here we are answering their prayers. Here we are answering their needs. It's not a want, it's a need right now. That's why I want you to list them, okay? And then try, okay? 
Remember, when you invite these kids, keep it short and simple, okay? And then form, okay? Talk about their family, occupation, recreation, message. When you invite people, when you talk to people, engage them by asking questions about them. Don't give any of your information. Let the time pass because people doesn't care how much you know until they will know how much you care, okay? So right now, I don't want you to get out of your place, okay? to invite people, but practice this, practice how to invite, okay? And be excited, remember? Excitement, oh my gosh, okay? Be excited always, okay? This is the thing that you can control. Why live in a gloomy place if you can live in a place where happiness is all around you? And it's a numbers game. Remember, repetition is the mother of learning. So keep on learning, ladies and gentlemen, keep on learning, okay? ABC rule, okay? Edify your coach or apply at all times when introducing the opportunity to your prospect. All right. When this thing will be up, I know you'll be coming to the office or be seeing somebody. Okay. When you bring your when you bring your sponsor, you bring your upline. Okay. He is your advisor. You will be the bridge and you will have a customer. When you introduce them to each other, you edify your coach. Do not tee up the customer. You tee up the advisor. Okay. Practice with this one. Practice this with your upline. How to do this one. Role play about it. Okay? And be the master of this. Then make a follow up. Right now, follow up all your users. The bosses that they are now. Follow them up. Okay. Tell them. Okay. Tell them how good the boss is. Tell them it's such a masturbate. Okay. Remember? Call them. Tell them how are they doing? How's everything? And ask them. Okay. Would you like, I have some products here right now available for you. Would you like to order some for your family? Okay. As a prophylaxis for your family. You can do that now. This is the best time for you to do that. Okay. Be sure that you have a notebook. Okay. Where your customers are there. Written their names and their addresses and their phone numbers. And when they, they purchase the product so that you will know if the product is, you know, dwindling already. So you can ask them if they would like to have some. You can make a follow up. Okay. And make a follow-up, ladies and gentlemen, to all your new customers within 24 to 48 hours. Okay? Please do that. Okay? Then the three essence of success is sponsoring. Okay? 80%. When you sponsor, it is not a privilege. It is a responsibility. Okay? I know you have sponsored a lot of people right now. Then this is the time for you to become and to do what a sponsor is. Okay? The good upline, okay? Start to train them, okay? Talk to them, okay? Call them, okay? Ask them one by one, okay? You can do Zoom or you can use your cell phone. You can do the messenger. Ask them to share the products to you. Ask them about the products, okay? Or you can teach them about the products. Practice their marketing plan. You tell them, okay, yeah, I, do, I want you to do one-on-one -on -one presentation to me. I would like to listen to you. That is what a sponsor is. Learn to listen to them because it's only when you listen to them that you make adjustment. Okay? Imagine you are now preparing them. A soldier, when he signed up, they didn't give gun right away. He has been trained, being prepared for the battle ahead. Okay? That's why you're going to win this battle, ladies and gentlemen, by being the right sponsor. Have the right attitude of a sponsor. Call the people that bought packages from you. Okay? That is in the business with you. Ask them, how are you doing? Good, are you doing, are you not busy today? Of course, I'm sure they're not busy, right? Good, tell them, get a piece of paper. Share to me the marketing plan, okay? All right, share to me the products. Okay, what do you know about the product? Ask them about the product. Ask them what they know about the SPF, okay? Ask them everything, anything under the sun so that they will be on their toes. So that when this thing will be off, man, you are now have a battalion of people ready to help people, okay? Share. Start to, do, to talk to your friends right now, people that's near in your place right now, okay? Your neighbors, start, talk to them, help them, okay? We have products that can be of help to them. And your service, what will be your service to people that join your business or your business partner? Your first service is giving them time, your time in teaching them. In teaching them. That's why training is very important. See that? Because you have to become a teacher in this business, okay? You have to teach her in this business. I will show to you the reason why I am really dealing. 
about service, about teaching. When we go to our next training, it is how to have a sustainable network by next week. Okay? Very important, the three S's of success. Set your goals. Oh, we had a goal setting last week. Where you, I, I know that most of you is with me, okay? You were with me, right? Good. Remember, smart, specific, uh, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, or relevant, or time-bounded, time-bounded, or timely, okay? I know you did that already. I'd like to congratulate you. I'll be doing that, a goal setting again. I'll be doing it uh, a week after next, probably, okay? A week after next, not this, not this coming week. Okay, so you can review and you can ask uh, also some of your um, business partners who weren't able to tune in. Okay, then we have come now to realizing the parachutes in life. First, what's the first parachute, if you remember? That's the emotional parachute. On the emotional parachute, what did we tackle? We tackle about fear, tackle about discouragement, and about excitement, see? Then we have the mental parachute, okay? Mental parachute, we tackled about attitude, about commitment, okay? And training. Then we had the spiritual parachute, okay? We talked to our greatest upline where we draw our strength, okay? Then financial parachute, you talk about yourself. Then we have the technical parachutes. Now, I would like you to look at this, okay, of these five parishes in life, okay? Here, we teach you to be emotionally tough, mentally tough, spiritually being guided, financially tough, and technically being learned, technical knowledge, okay? These things are not being taught in the school, okay? When you go to school, you pay. Here, you, did, you, did, you don't need to pay. All you have to do is learn, put your time into it. Okay, now I would like you to see these five parachutes and honestly tell yourself where do you need to make some adjustment. Okay, talk to your upline about it, how to help you out. Okay, if your upline is busy or anything, then you can message me. We can talk, we can discuss. I'm here for you. Okay, I can give you some pointers about it. That will be, you know. Now that, that will be a one-on-one -on -one mentoring or I can do a group mentoring with your group. We can schedule that if you want to. Then we can do something about it, okay? We, we can, you, you message me, you can tell me that Uncle Marty, I would like to have a mentoring with my group at this time, then we can set it up and we'll do some mentoring, okay? All right, so we'll make the best out of it. We'll make some preparations for the time to come, okay? Now remember, okay, don't forget about your dreams, make your dream board, visualize your dreams, your beautiful house, your car, okay? Vacation, family time, and flying high, okay? Keep on dreaming. When you have dreams, when you dream big, the Lord will give it to you. If you stop dreaming, the Lord will take you. Hey, hey, nawaku, all right? All right, I just would like to end up with a story, okay? This is a story of, uh, a mother who brought his son, her son, okay, to a concert by Andrew Penderweski. Andrew Penderweski is a one who, once upon a time, is the greatest pianist. He's, he's from Poland, okay? And uh, the concert was about to start at 7 p.m. The mother came with a child, a six years old, and he, he told his son, okay, just stay there. Don't move around. You know, can you, can you do that to a six-year-old? Man, you cannot do that. You cannot stop him, okay? He's an explorer. So the mother was seated to a friend and they were chit-chatting and chit-chatting. And then suddenly when the mother looked at the left, his left side, the kid wasn't there anymore. I said, so, well, where's my son? Where's my son? And suddenly, boom, lights went off because it was seven o'clock and the spotlight opened up, boom, and it hit the grand piano. And you know who's sitting there? The kid. The kid was sitting there and he was playing the piano. He knows how to do a piano, okay? a piano piece. And the piano piece was twinkle, twinkle, little star. He was doing that twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. And keep on repeating it, okay? Finishing the song, repeating it. If you are the parent, what you gonna do, okay? In the, in the concert hall, full with people. 
and your son is playing on the piano. Oh my gosh. And she stood up, she liked to run and get the kid. When she stood up, suddenly Andrew Pendlewski stepped in also on the stage. Andrew Pendlewski is about a six, five guy with beard, huge guy, okay? And Andrew looked at the kid and the kid kept on playing. And then he went there and the mother was just somewhat like frozen up. And then he sat by the kid and the kid looked at him and smiled and he kept on playing. The kid he doesn't mind, he kept on playing twinkle, twinkle, little star. And Andrew Paduaski put his arms around the kid and start to play the melody. Da 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 and the beat da 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 and the kids keep on playing. And the twinkle twinkle little star becomes a masterpiece. Ladies and gentlemen, your sponsor is Andrew Pendlewski, our president. President Judo is Alan Nolasco, is our Andrew Pendlewski. He gives us the comfort, he hugs us and play a melody for your wife to be answered and for your dreams to be achieved. I am Bart Espino. Thank you very much. And to God be the glory.